Okay, so at one femtometer, we need to calculate the size of the electric force and also the gravitational force. So the electric force, this is given by Coulomb's law, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, or this can be k if you want, q1, q2 on r squared. So all we need to do is substitute in. So 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, that is equal to 8.988 times 10 to the 9. Now we've got two protons. So each of these protons has a charge 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So there's two of those, so that's squared. And then we're separating them by a femtometer. So 10 to the minus 15 meters squared. So solving this one on the calculator, we end up with 230 newtons, two, two significant figures, and because these are both positive, this is going to be a repulsive force. So that's the answer to part A. In part B, we need to calculate the size of the gravitational force. So the gravitational force is given by G m1 m2 on r squared. So g, that's equal to 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11. Now the mass of a proton is 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So there's two of those. And then they're separated by a femtometer. So solving this one on the calculator, we end up with a much smaller number, 1.9 times 10 to the minus 34 newtons. So this is an attractive force. But as we said, this attractive force is much, much smaller than this repulsive force. So this gravitational attraction cannot be the reason that nuclei are stable.